Fixing your animals is no longer the back-breaking work it used to be. With Electrobraid Fence, you can start right after breakfast and have this one-acre paddock completely fenced before supper's on the table. Now that's fast. That's simple. Electrobraid is so simple that except for digging post holes, the only tools you'll need to install the braid fence can be carried in a canvas tool bag. Electrobraid Fence is the permanent electric fence which is safe, secure, simple. Installing Electrobraid will save you time, money, trees, and trouble. This installation video will explain how to install Electrobraid for small paddocks, medium pastures, and large pastures. Proper sized paddocks and pastures are important for the care and well-being of your animals. Fights are bound to happen with overcrowding. The larger the paddock, the less stress and the less chance of a horse getting hurt. 100 feet by 100 feet should be the minimum size paddock for one or two horses. Pastures should be at least two acres per horse, with no obstructions which could hurt a horse, and no sharp corners where a horse can get trapped by another horse. A proper sized paddock or pasture fenced with Electrobraid, well, you're going to have happy horses. Start by setting your corner posts and end posts. Electrobraid is a tension system. That means you should brace corner posts according to the contour of the land and soil conditions. Whether you choose H bracing or H bracing with a foreboard look, a rounded corner system, or the mule corner post and anchor system, correct bracing will be the backbone to your Electrobraid fence. The mule is a pretty slick posting system and works well with Electrobraid. The mule uses augers as an anchoring system. Use a large auger for corner posts and brace posts. The small auger for dip posts. Just screw in an auger for a fiberglass corner post. Then screw in the brace augers at 45 degree angles. Bolt the brace post to the corner post and screw on the insulators. That's it. It takes no time at all to install. And it's not coming out. Now, with the posts in place, use a jig or ruler and mark the post for spacing each line of braid. Space the other three lines a foot apart or to whatever spacing best suits your animals. If smaller animals are fenced with larger animals, simply widen all the spacing an equal amount in order to narrow the space between the bottom braid and the ground. If you have predators, such as coyote, wolf, cat or bear, an extra line of braid may help to keep them away from your horses. Now center the insulators on your marks. Use two and a half inch screws to attach the insulator to the fence post. You can also use a flexible webbing option. If you're using the webbing, drive a stainless steel nail through the top hole to hold the insulator in place. Don't anchor it solid. This nail is temporary. Measure out and cut lengths of webbing to overlap around the posts. Slip the webbing through the insulator and strap the insulator to the post. Secure the strap with two stainless steel nails and washers. Remove the nail which was holding the insulator in place. Strapping allows the insulator to freely adjust to the directional changes of the braid. Installing the braid is simple. Using the end straight from the reel, thread the braid through the insulator and clamp it tight. Leave approximately two inches outside the split bolt connector. Make sure the connector is tight to avoid slippage. Now start fencing. Carry the reel with you. On a small paddock, 
Fencing with Electrobraid is as easy as walking the perimeter of your paddock or field. At the next corner post, remove the pin lock and roller and slip the braid behind the roller. Replace the pin lock and you're on your way to the next post. Do the same thing at all of the corner posts and watch how easy the braid changes direction. It travels freely around the roller. This first strand of braid between all of the corner posts is a guide that tells you where to dig your inline posts. Using your guide, start digging and install your inline posts. There won't be as many posts as on a traditional fence. Inline posts are only needed every 50 feet. However, depending on the lay of the land and climate conditions, you can span up to 100 feet. That's one-tenth the number of posts for a traditional fence. Electrobraid's super strength and tremendous resilience allows for these distances. At the end post, pull out as much slack as you can by hand. To tighten the fence further, you'll need to use the Electrobraid tensioning kit. It's easy to assemble. Tie the S-hook to one end of the ratchet rope. Insert the other end of the ratchet rope into the ratchet. Insert the rope opposite to the release switch around the ratchet wheel and back out in the opposite direction. Tie a knot to prevent the end of the rope from slipping back through the ratchet and you're done. Attach the ratchet system to the post. Now tighten the braid with the ratchet system. Keep going. Tighten until the ratchet won't pull any tighter. Depending on how much slack you pulled out by hand, you may have to repeat this tightening process several times. Now, clamp the line with a split bolt connector. Leave approximately two inches of braid outside the clamp. Then tape, cut, and singe the end. Always tape before you cut. It prevents fraying. Singeing prevents fraying after the tape wears off. Return to the beginning post and attach the ratchet system and tension the braid. Release the split bolt connector. Take out the slack and re-tighten the bolt. That's all there is to it. Install the remaining lines in the same way. In different soils and in different climates, posts can shift and cause the braid to relax. All you have to do is simply reset and tamp your posts and retension the braid. Be sure to tighten each line before starting the next. Electrobraid allows you to work with the lay of the land. Streams are easy to cross. Electrobraid accommodates all sorts of terrain, including dips and rises. You can use wooden or fiberglass inline posts. The fiberglass posts are lightweight, sturdy, and using the dip auger for anchoring, they're easy to install. And, once in place, a mule can't pull them out. Electrobraid is ideal for wooded environments. Trees can be used as corner posts, inline posts, and as end posts. Installing Electrobraid on medium-sized pasture is every bit as easy. Because of the longer run in a medium-sized pasture, you need to tighten the line from corner post to corner post. You'll need a second ratchet system to do this. 
after installing a single line of braid and clamping the braid at the end post or gate post, go to the first corner post and tighten the line. Pull out the slack, then tighten the line with the ratchet system. Leave the ratchet and clamp attached to hold the line tight. Proceed to the second corner post and repeat the tightening process with a second set of ratchet and clamps. Leave them attached to hold this section of line tight. Return to the first corner post. Remove the ratchet and clamp and use it to tighten the braid at the third corner post. You're simply working your way around the paddock and tightening at each corner post. Using this method on long stretches allows you to tighten each line in one procedure. Installing electro braid on large pastures is pretty simple too. For large installations, you can run four lines at once. Here's how. Set brace posts every 2,400 feet. Space inline posts every 50 to 100 feet, depending on the lay of the land and climate conditions. Attach four lines of braid to the first brace post. Run the lines for 2,400 feet to the next brace post. That's two full reels of braid. Install the braid to the insulators on the inline posts as you go. Splicing together reels of braid is simple too. Use two split bolt connectors and make sure the double helix copper connects with the split bolts. Tighten the bolts and away you go. Tighten and terminate all four lines at the brace post. Attach four more lines of braid and use jumper cables for an electrical connection. Simple, isn't it? You're going to repeat this procedure from brace post to brace post. When you get to a corner post, insert the braid in the insulator. Pull out the slack by hand, then tighten the braid, leaving the ratchet system attached to hold the lines tight. Remember, tighten at corner posts. Tighten, clamp, and terminate at inline brace posts. Continue running the braid in this way until you reach the end post or gate post. All you have to do now is add a gate. Choose your gate carefully. Ideally, a gate should be hung so it swings both ways, allowing for the gate to always swing in the direction you're leading the horse. Whether it's a geotech gate or any other quality gate, you now have a physical and psychological barrier for your animals which is safe, secure, simple. And with regular inspections and minimum maintenance, it will stay that way for many years to come. Electrobraid strength, durability, and resiliency makes it the perfect barrier for year-round fencing. Add to that its ease of installation, and you have the future of electrified fencing. Installing an Electrobraid fence is a sure sign you care about your animals. Here's a few tips for keeping them safe and secure. Test your fence at the highest and driest points of the fence. Test at the furthest point from your ground system and test your fence often, making sure that you have 5,000 volts at all locations. Always introduce new horses to your herd gradually to minimize fights as they sort out the pegging order. Always introduce your animals to the Electrobraid fence before you turn them loose to enjoy their paddock for the first time. Don't mix mares with geldings and stallions. Always separate mares from geldings and stallions in separate paddocks. Always buy the proper fence charger for your application and follow the manufacturer's instructions that come with it. Make sure if a post shifts, you reset it, tamp, and re-tighten the braid. And it's always a good idea never to turn off the electricity to your electrobraid fence unless you're working on it and the horses are not left unattended. It's very important to test your fence at the highest and driest points of the fence. Test your fence to the soil at the furthest point from your ground system 
and test your fence often, making sure you have 5,000 volts at all locations. With proper installation, regular inspections, and proper electrification, your animals will be happier behind your Electrobraid fence. Electrobraid works well, costs less, looks great. Visit our website or give us a call.